This is the Warthos Forum, and we approve this message. The British settlers who arrived here in the early 1800s found fewer than 400,000 Aboriginals on a continent the size of the USA, an impossibly small number if they'd been here unchallenged for tens of thousands of years. And my Celtic ancestors in Europe had suffered the same loss of technology in much less than 10,000 years. The ancestors of many races left Babel as sophisticated builders of multi-storey towers who possessed advanced metal technology and lived alongside Noah, the maker of the first ocean liner. But within 1,000 years, as is evidenced by the Celts, they had descended to the depths of the occult and cannibalism as their technology plummeted to Stone Age cavemen. Their stone circles became mere shadows of what we once could have achieved, even though all races still knew stories of the Creator God. One of the, the uh, Chinese names for God is Shangti. This means the heavenly ruler. And if we look at it in the most ancient form, the oracle bone writing, we see that there are three mouths which also represent three persons. And that's interesting because it brings out the, the, the knowledge that they had of the Trinity. But also, the, the radical meaning mouth has other meanings. For example, it means to speak, to breathe, or to eat. And we know that God created by speaking things into existence. So this shows that Shang-Ti was the creator even in this character. 